Hey guys, Kosa here from Kyalai Studios, and this is the very first tutorial of the series Google Spreaker Game Development. Today we're gonna have a look at installing and setting up Google Spreaker. So let's jump right in. Yeah. First thing that you wanna do is go to this link, GoGoStudioX.org. Note that there's a hyphen between Google Studio and X, right? So once you're there, what you gotta do is go to this link, download, and then you're gonna come right here, right in this section of Coco Square, right? And since I'm on a Windows 10 64 bit PC, I'm gonna go for this link, uh, version 1.3.3 Windows, right? So that's a, a Windows installer, and currently uh, it's version 1.3.3 as of 14th of January 2017, right? So, uh, I'm going to download this and and I'm going to pause this recording and see you on the uh, other side and uh, wait till this uh, download is complete, right? Okay, now that my uh, installer is downloaded and let me just fire up uh, my downloads folder right there and see, right? Right here we have this Coco Creator 1.2.3 installer setup.exe, right? So what we wanna do is uh, right-click on this, and run this as an administrator, right? There we go. And you wanna, uh, what you wanna do is select the language out here, English. Uh, by default, the setup location is in the C drive or your you know, OS drive. C Coco Square. That's fine. Just leave it like that. And you're gonna click on this check mark here. Check box. This, I agree to this license terms and conditions, right? And install. Okay. So you're gonna be prompted with this option of installing Visual Studio 2015. I am not going to do that because I already have Visual Studio 2015 installed on my system. So what I'm going to do is click on this next button right here and then it'll stop. This might take a while, <laughs> just like the, you know, the message out there says this may take several minutes. So it's quite literally what's going to happen. Okay, alright, so we are finally done. and. You can either click finish or run from here and as you can see right out here that we have this uh, Coco Spirit shortcut on our desktop and let me show you where it has been installed. Yeah. I'm going to go in my C drive and right there, see, so I'm saying you have a Coco Square directory or folder if you will created right inside my C drive and if I open up folder we are going to see the scope of square.exe and we have uh, updater.exe and all the other relevant files that's gonna you know work alongside this engine right so let's get going I am going to click on this run button right here okay it's gonna fire up And since uh, I already have uh, my uh, Coco Square uh, ID logged in on this one, on this PC, basically, so uh, you might come across a prompt for logging in, right? So you can actually go to the uh, their website and have yourself uh, made an account, and uh, you know, so. I already, as you can see, I already have some projects going on. So I'm gonna go with this Hello World project, right? Because everybody loves Hello World projects, right? So I'm gonna create this new project called Hello World, right? Then we hit create. Ooh, now we have a hello world existing on the next. So, 
is just something I'm gonna create a new project or something like this new project. And it's gonna take a while to load up the uh, ID. There we go. There we go. Right. As you can see, that I already have um, I uh, my Cocos Creator IDE is logged in. Oh, we have a bug fix, right? Uh, no, not right now. I am going to install this patch after I'm done with this tutorial. Okay. So there we are, right? We have successfully installed Cocos Creator, and we're gonna uh, go about. Uh, we're gonna uh, talk about the uh, navigation and uh, which button does what and uh, the functionalities of everything in the next video. But for now, uh, let's uh, open up this scene of Hello World right here. And we're gonna play it in the simulator. Boom. There we go. We have successfully installed Google's Creator. Okay, that's it for this tutorial, guys. So, have a nice day or good night, uh, whatever your time zone is. And feel free to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next tutorial.